call on you to join us against Edward. Against your for the Wars of the Roses rages on. Warwick is Lancastrian, and we fight to replace Edward with the true king of England, Henry VI in the House of Lancaster. And as we march, we will cry a Warwick a Warwick. For you will become our power against those treacherous humans. You and that monstrous machine. Our ultimate weapon. The biggest, most powerful siege engine in the world. The Warwick Castle Tribution! This is Ursa, the bear. Standing at 18 metres tall, weighing 22 tonnes. Built from English oak, the throwing arm formed of two ash trees. And you here will carry her to sea. We plan to besiege the city wall directly. Or we can create havoc within the capital. Either way, the trebuchet is key. Now traditionally, you load a trebuchet using animals, horses or oxen, so down the throwing arm. There is a problem with this method. The siege could last weeks, maybe months, and our enemy could cut off our supplies. We will then have no food to feed our hungry soldiers. So we will resort to eating those horses and oxen and have no way of loading our trebuchet. So if somebody somewhere thought of using the technology from the crane, same cranes that have helped build structures across Europe, churches, abbeys, cathedrals, city walls, castles like our own Warwick. So we have taken the wheels from the cranes, two wheels, and set them inside our trebuchet. You link them with a central axle, tie a rope to the end of the throwing arm, down to a pulley at the back, then connect that rope to the central axle. Now we can use manpower to load our trebuchets, but we have thousands of soldiers at our disposal. All we need is four of those soldiers. Two to climb inside each wheel, their job is simple. To walk inside those wheels. Those wheels weigh over a ton each. Those winders power them round, wrap the rope around the axle, and power down that throwing arm. Lifting that box you can see slowly rising in the centre. That box is the counterweight, the secret to our energy for our siege machine. Now that counterweight box weighs one ton when it is empty. We have filled it with nearly five tons of rocks. So when we pull that trigger, we will launch in a projectile with incredible power. So we can destroy city walls, we can destroy internal buildings of a city, and we will destroy our enemy where they stand. We have received word a small Yorkist force approaches Warwick with cannon in an attempt to slow our advance upon London. But I am positive when they meet us, we will send those Yorkist swines running with 15,000 Lancastrian soldiers behind them. So I say to Edward, do your worst, bring your cannon, bring your force, for you will be met with a rain of arrows and fire. So let us support our crew. A Warwick, a Warwick! A Warwick, a Warwick! Archers, loose your arrows. Trebuchet master, we are under attack. Get them moving! This winding job is the worst. Run faster, wind harder. That's all right for him to say. The pain in his legs is excruciating and have more winds of this wheel to come. The worst part is the sickness. These wooden wheels are full of slaps that create a flickering light effect when we wind up. It makes us dizzy, which brings on the sickness. If you know what's good for you, you swallow it down. Throwing up when the floor becomes a ceiling every five seconds isn't pretty. Not only that, but you fall over for sure. The wheels are extremely slippery when wet. And whether it's the sick or the rain, to fall over is the worst thing that can happen to a winder. I've been carried to the top of the wheel and fall on the axis, breaking me back for certain. I just keep running and looking ahead as much as I can. This job is often given to blind people. They don't suffer with the sickness then, you see. Giving up and falling out of the wheel isn't an option either. I promise you, it's not worth the lashings you get if you try. Suggest we keep winding. Just think about it. It eases the pain. It works for me anyway. Come on, mate. Not long now until that rope's free. Oh, that's a slight hand. Yeah, Mom. Come on, mate. Get off those wheels. Whining like a maiden, mate! Come on! <laughs> the enemy is close now, and I'll show them what's 
we are made of. As Trebuchet Master, Ursa is my responsibility. And it's my job to keep her turning and keep these lazy dogs moving. I am a master of warfare, and this machine is my finest weapon. This machine can shoot a projectile 300 meters at 150 miles per hour. If I don't operate her with absolute precision, if this arm releases accidentally, it will decapitate me in an instant. But I don't have time to worry about that. I have to shoot this machine every six minutes, or the Kingmaker never will have my name. There is no room for error. bow to your peace law. We will stand proud by our castle and we will march for the crown. We will march for the true king. We will march to our victory. Are you with us? Yeah! yeah. Master, their cannon are raging in. One more will hit the machine. It is time to launch. Begin the shooting sequence. Remove the chain. Pull the pin. Step down, prepare for launch. Give the projectile fire. Trebuchet Master, hold! Hold! Launch! Oh, beautiful! Ladies and gentlemen, the Warwick Castle Trebuchet! That is not achieved without a lot of hard work. You have witnessed four people lifting almost six tons of weight. So please, let us hear a huge cheer for the trebuchet master, Ash, and the crew!